and welcome back to my channel. I'm the Honey Bat, if you are just joining us. Today we have a little bit of a mix. We have some of the Pocket Box Surprise cats and some of their dogs. I have never opened these before, but I found them at Walmart and thought they were cute, so I figured why not? We are gonna start with the kitty cats. Here's a close-up of the ones that you can get. I think that one looks like Q, and that one is the closest to Yugi that I see. These bags, thankfully, do have tear strips. And this is really cute. So we're gonna slide this open. I think this one is the Russian blue. It's all gray. We get a little scratching post. There's a picture of a kitty in our box. I think this one is the Turkish Angora, but it's really hard to see because the pictures are very small on the actual bag. But I do like that it has these big bright blue eyes. We are gonna move on to the dogs. And here is a close-up of all the little breeds that you can get. There's not one on here that looks like my dog, but I think I would really, really like to see the little fox terrier. He looks super cute. So let's give this bag a try. We get a little green and blue box that says dogs on it. We're gonna slide this open. The first thing I noticed is that these ones are rubbery and the cats are like a really hard plastic. The first little puppy is this adorable little bulldog. I guess this one kind of looks the closest to my dog. And we also have a little beagle. These are going to be adopted by the Barbie house very quickly. That's what happens to all the Hatchimals. And inside our little dog box, we also get a little tiny water bowl or a little food bowl. Oh, this is a sticker. I didn't realize it was a sticker. So we get a little sticker and we get a little like decorated room for our pet. So this one's a living room. This was our kitty cat sticker and we also get another little living room in this one. At the end of this video, we're gonna have to vote cats or dogs. So we're gonna move on to another cat box. Sounds too much like litter box. We're gonna go on to this little box of cats. I believe this one is a ragdoll cat. It has green eyes and it looks very similar to the first one. And this little cutie is a Bombay cat. So he's all black with these bright yellow eyes. Inside we get a little kitty cat bed. This kitty cat sticker. And a little hallway with like a window view in the back. I do have more kitty cat bags than I have puppies because I kind of bought all that they had. This little cutie is an obsidian cat. He is all orange with yellow eyes. And this one I am not 100% sure on. It might be the actual Turkish Angora or it might be the Himalayan. I honestly don't care what breed they are. I think they're cute. We get a little yellow bed this time. A sticker of a kitty cat playing with sneakers. This is what my cats like to do. And then a nice cozy bed. We have another kitty cat pack and open our box of kitty cats. The further this video goes along, the more confused I get on which cats are which. So we have a black cat here with yellow eyes and this little fluffy looking white kitty cat with like gray on his back and his ears. We get a different style dish. So this could be food and the other one could be water. We get another kitty cat sticker and this is our first duplicate. This is another bed. And we are ready for another dog box. If I can tell what breed they are, I'll let you know, but for now, we're just gonna see what we can get. This one could be some kind of spaniel. It's got a little bit of gray on its back. It might also be the Labrador. The dogs are a little bit easier to tell, but they don't really match their pictures. This one is a poodle. Probably one of the most obvious that we've seen. We have a little green dish. A Jack Russell puppy jumping for our sticker. 
And we have this nice big field with the skyline in the back. That might be my favorite little box so far. Moving right along. We have a little white cat with some orange on its tail. And this one is definitely the Sphinx cat. These are hairless cats in real life. That's why they look all wrinkly. In our box, we have a yellow scratch post. This sweet little kitty taking a nap. And we have the bed box. Time for some more kitty cats. This one is bursting at the seams. Oh, they're little tiny ones. These little orange cats look like they're playing. They're in different poses than all of the other cats. I think I like this one the best. He needs a little ball of yarn. We have another food dish. So now we have a food and water dish. We have a little kitty with a little kitty toy. And our box this time is this beautiful garden scene. Here's our next bag. Oh, this is a different design. Oh, actually it's just the back. I didn't realize they were different. So it says pocket box of cats. I think this little guy is going to be our Siamese kitty cat with those big bright eyes. You can kind of tell by the coloring that's about how Siamese cats look. This cat is all gray but it has this beautiful black pattern to it with big green eyes. We have another bowl. A kitty cat playing with a string and a duplicate living room scene. I think our dolls are going to have to open up a little veterinarian office or a little animal shelter because we have so many adorable little kittens now. This is our very first duplicate. We have all three of those. And the sticker and the background are duplicates. We actually got really far in this video without getting any duplicates. It's time for more puppy dogs. Because you can never have enough puppy dogs. We have a little tiny miniature Chow Chow. You can tell because it's got that big poofy tail. We used to have a dog that looked just like this. Her name was Mitzi. I believe this one is our Jack Russell. We have a tiny red food dish this time. A little Sharpay sticker. And a duplicate field. We are down to just four packs left. We have three kitty cat ones and one dog. We have two more duplicate kitty cats. A duplicate food bowl. I don't remember if we've seen this sticker or not, but the box is another bedroom scene. Here we go. Our kitty cats and our little accessory are duplicates. But I do believe that this is a new sticker. And we have another bedroom scene. We could make a whole house out of bedrooms now. We're going to go ahead and open up the last dog. We have one of my favorite breeds of dog. This is a Bernese Mountain Dog. They get huge. But they're super fluffy and they're really gentle. This one I'm not sure about. It might be the taller even though the color is a little off. But this is probably one of my favorites too. I just love all the detail to make it look like it's actually furry. We get a fourth color food bowl. An adorable puppy sticker and a duplicate of our very first living room scene. This is our very last one for this video. We are going to end on a kitty cat. For some reason I can't just say cat. It has to be kitty cat. And we have already seen both of these cats and the blue bed. But here we have a very vocal little kitty. And I like that you could turn this one any way that you like and it still makes sense. I think it goes this way though. And our last little box is a duplicate of the hallway with the view. So it's that time to pick favorites. Who's your favorite dog? Who's your favorite cat? And what is your favorite backdrop? I absolutely love that garden scene. I think that the little Bernese Mountain Dog is going to be my favorite puppy. And I'm still going to stick with this little playful cat at the bottom.
while you're down there in the comments, tell me which team you are on today. Are you gonna vote that the cats win or that the dogs win? I think today I'm gonna go with the dogs because I like that they're a little bit flexible and they're not just hard plastic. But I know that the baby bats are gonna run off with these the second I give them to them. And even though it's hard to identify what breed they are, they're still cute and they work for exactly the purpose that I wanted them to. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye for now.